Hello and welcome. This is Alchemist X, and this is the banner overview for the week of July 14th. However, before jumping into that, I wanted to talk about being a new player in 2022 and re rolling that kind of thing, targets to shoot for, and what some of that entails. So, it is a large undertaking to start playing this game. Do not expect to be able to get to end game content quickly. There are just too many factors at play. There are the items required to level up your units, uh, evolution, enlightenment, runes, mementos, VCRs. There's just so many different things. Oh, whoops, I didn't want dark. I actually wanted water. I've got a hypothetical example for what I wanted to talk about scarcity-wise. There's a, just a mountain of things. But the, the important thing starting out is that you just get yourself uh, a good carry unit and just start running through story mode and just clear as much con content as you can, unlock as many hard quests as you can for units that you get and want to use. And But an important thing to be wary of is the scarcity of the unique items to level up characters' jobs. So in the case of Dark Mirror, it's a non-issue because her items are available in just the regular story mode. So feel free to do that at your own pace. However, another example, I'm using units that I'm actively raising at the moment as my hypotheticals, but would be Nesha, because if you're in the process of raising her, her unique items are time limited. So that is just something to be aware of. Generally speaking, unless we are talking about like actual external non gumi property collabs, the items are going to come back eventually, but it's ideal to try and get them while they're running if you are going for a unit who's re-rolling or you're re-rolling for a unit whose whatever they're associated with is currently in circulation. So I think global, if you wanted to start playing right now, global is the best option for that because everything that you would possibly want as far as unique type of items, job gears, um, job plus stuff for the older global units, etc., all of that is rerunning right now. So for the newest ones, like Dark Roxanne and Lachesis Grim, etc., uh, that's going to be Finnis and Veritas Astoria. For the older stuff, you'll find it in Global Events. And then for the ones that have Job Plus, that's going to be the Ascension Trials. So definitely excellent time to reroll. There's also some decent banners for that, but we'll go into that in the banner overview. But that's just one of the most important things, is just getting the limited time stuff so you can properly utilize the characters that you get. And if you are having trouble clearing the content because some of that stuff is going to be locked behind EX levels, just a good mercenary goes a long way. You can always come back way later for the clear without mercenary goal. It does not matter in the short run. What matters in the short run is just getting your carry set up. So yeah, that is all I've got to say about that for the moment. I am... I've been in the process of trying to come up with a more comprehensive guide. I'll see how that works out. But otherwise, I'll put in the description links to the websites that I like to use because I, I consider them indispensable just because there's too much information that the game just does not give you directly, either efficiently or at all. So with that, let's jump in to the banners. And here we are at the banners. So the quick version is going to be if you're saving for the Soul Ions, Ikasa festival stuff, then it's going to be a skip week. If you are into global or if you are a player that is looking at re-rolling and starting the game, then there's some good stuff. So first is Dark Roxanne. So she's a very, very expensive unit. So if you're one of those people who was saving up for maybe you didn't have enough gems when she, the last time she re-ran. She's rerun re pretty frequently though. The, for a bit seems like almost every time global's done something she's rerun so that seems less of an issue than other characters that get the five steps um if you're trying to reroll she could be a good reroll unit uh just to keep in mind she's not going to be available on some of the other banners so this is going to be the only way to get her and because the rates are pretty bad on this type of banner i i definitely would count on potentially re-rolling for quite a while before you do it. But if that's worth it to you, then, you know, all the power to you. In the case of Lachesis, you can get her on a somewhat more interesting banner that I'll talk about in just a moment. So that wouldn't apply in her case, but excellent support unit nonetheless. There are three three steps. You can get these units shards in the shop. So if you're looking to transmute, I would do it that way. If 
If it was a week where there's three discount tickets, I would recommend getting the third set because it comes with a selector, but because you'd be paying more than it would cost for the Louise shop, I don't recommend that unless it was like some kind of emergency. I don't even know what that would constitute, I guess. But um, now we get to the really interesting one. So you can pick six units. You know, the cutoff is a few months ago, but nonetheless, there are some excellent units here. I just kind of picked six at random. I don't know why I didn't put Inaku in the six. Inaku is one of the best units in the game. But uh, that doesn't matter. I'm not actually going to do this banner myself. This was just a, a hypothetical. If you are re-rolling, this is the this is a great banner because you can pick six of the units that you want to get. You know, depending on you know you could you could try to go for a really really good roll where you get more than one. I would not count on getting more than two of them at the same time. The the chances of that happening is going to be very 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 low. But nonetheless, just keep re-rolling till you get a good result. And then once you do have that good result, you've got some coins that you can spend and get more shards of that character that you were going for. And because the pool is so great, it's just, I think, that as far as re-rolling goes, just, it, I don't want to say it doesn't get better than that, because hypothetically, it definitely could, but it, it's a good option. The next two, I don't think are as good. Like, if you're still trying to get Kaide, then potentially or if you got if you're into both kaide and the rathorus trio then this is a good banner otherwise you probably either want to just save or just do one of the other banners doubly so for this one i'd say the only exception would be if you had some grand plan for brilliant coins but otherwise if you're a veteran player you probably have all these units and if you are a new player starting out you probably want to go for different units as excellent as i use Asuka and Zengi all the time, and I use Minerva and Roxanne kind of in specific situations where whatever they offer is needed. I don't, even though Xion's one of my favorite characters, I don't use Xion all that often. And then, as much as I've tried to make Siegfried good, the fact that he's like most comparable to the unit Retzius is very, very sad. And the, his, the limited memento that just popped out for him wasn't enough to make the difference. So, hopefully, they give him some kind of meaningful upgrade. Because it's a very sad state to be in. So aside from that, there are some mementos that are pretty self-explanatory. There's good pools, but they are going to be expensive if you wanted to try and guarantee them. The global one for older ones is pretty good, especially if you're looking to max limit break something like, say, Asuka's or Morrigan's situations where you definitely want to both have their memento and have it max limit broken. Definitely pretty good if you don't have something you're already saving for. And then, as far as older banners, Blade Fox and Kaide's Memento, and then the ones with the Sprite Trio, Tamis, and the Rathorus Trio are still around if those were more appealing. All good banners overall. So that is all I've got for this week. So if you are summoning, I wish you good luck, and I will see you all next time.